before we jump into coding itself, I want to talk about the kind of mindset you need to have to succeed and the way to approach coding, especially if it's something that you've done before and it didn't work out, it was too hard, you struggled, you quit, and maybe now you're trying again, or even if it's the first time. Let's talk about how to approach this so that you can actually succeed and start becoming a programmer, a coder, a game developer, or whatever it is you want to do with coding. So the way I like to look at it is coding is kind of a puzzle. So the languages we're going to be using and the languages that really you'll be using anywhere are already made for you. Yeah, they're being improved upon and adding new features, but for the most part, everything you're going to want to do has already been done. And that means that what you need to do now is figure out how to put it together. So if you want to move a certain way or add a certain feature, those, the actual language, the code itself is there and you don't need to do anything to it. You just have to figure out how to use it. There's syntax, there's grammar, there's libraries, there's, there's a lot of different stuff. But in the end, you gotta come up with the best way to put it all together to create what you wanna make. So for me, I look at it as a big puzzle and I turn that into a game because I enjoy doing puzzles. It's just part of who I am. If you're not very good at puzzles, that's okay. Look at it in a different way. Maybe look at it as a game you're trying to play and you just gotta rank up the skill you have in learning to use a certain language. So coding is another language. Even though it's in English and it's gonna look pretty familiar, there's, there's not going to be any strange words necessarily in there, uh, it's another language. And what that means is you've got to be practicing. So when we go into this, don't just watch. Follow along with what I'm doing. Type it out. Don't copy and paste. Don't put it on a second monitor and just do something in the background while you listen to me. You're not going to get anything out of that. If you want to learn Spanish or French or Japanese, you can't just listen to someone talk it or teach it. it. It won't work. You'll learn one or two things, but that's not going to be enough if they drop you in the country and say, hey, good luck, fend for yourself. Same thing when it comes to programming. There are so many tutorials and a lot of great ones out there, but if you don't actually do it, it doesn't matter. You're not going to learn. You're not going to remember it. You're not going to know how to do it yourself. And that's the really big key here is going into coding, practice it yourself. Once you get a concept down, take the time and experiment with it. If you learn how to move a player or to jump around, take the time to really understand it and then wonder what would happen if you did X or Y. What if you jumped higher or farther? What if you increased the gravity so that maybe when you jump the world moves? I don't know, there's, there's unlimited possibilities when it comes to games and coding. The thing is that you just need to learn how to do it. So practice what we're doing. Don't just watch, don't just listen. And come at it from a perspective that it's a skill you gotta learn. Everything we're gonna do is people have just learned, okay? Uh, there are some people who might be more inclined to it, some people who think a little more logically like a computer, but at the end of the day, it's a skill. And if you want to be great at coding and game development, and make your own games, then just practice. Because no one out there is great who didn't put in the time and effort. So we're gonna go into it. We're gonna start doing some coding. We're gonna start with some mini games. We're gonna just kick it off really, really easy to not overwhelm. And we're just gonna start with the absolute basics of how Game Maker works and some of the things you need to know to just run a project and to see it in action. But keep those things in mind follow along, practice, and don't get discouraged if you don't get it right away. It's a skill. When I started out, uh, I'll talk about my journey as we go, but let's just say I did not start out confident or really even able to do much coding at all. It took me a lot of years and a lot of struggle, which is why I feel like I can talk about this with some confidence because I understand how hard it is to get into programming, especially if it's something that you've struggled with in the past. So practice, follow along, and know it's just a skill. If you do it enough, you will get it. Things will click into place. Even if at first it doesn't make any sense, stick with it and it will. 
So I look forward to seeing you in the next video and let's jump right into it.